Rivers are key to industry. Landscape winding built a revolution, but land means more with mass. Reservoirs built to provide for people, built to provide for a city that would one day have books and films made in its name. But history is better with people, because people fill the pages. But it's a shame because there are those that contribute chapters but are still left to the footnotes. Those who accumulate wealth unimaginable and commission landmarks still standing today but no one knows their name. So you can build a city on industry. That does not make it a man's world because the women take over when war takes men from homes. See, they're the backbone of the workforce. They're the landladies who poison up their sleeves. They're responsible for the strikes and the picket lines. See, this is a city of Epsom, with one woman and a king's horse. It's where Florence still watches over as the ill get well, and it's where the mill churns, but not to produce products to sell. It now produces history. See, Jedediah may have had his invention, but it was his wife and her family and their business that called Darby home. And it was the sons that she bore him that built the first fireproof buildings. And it was her laugh that made those houses homes. See, this city has silk throwing mills and flying shuttles to weave its history. It has museums that were once factories that built this country's industry and changed the world in ways you will never know. Simply because the story of Derby women have been left untold. So my inspiration for this project was to do an overview about some of the amazing women we've looked at during the project and some of the ones that we've researched, we found out about, we couldn't talk about because of time or other restrictions and it's kind of to encourage you to go and find out yourself to look at all these women and to kind of discover their stories and find people that inspire you.